Harvest Time, how are we feeling today? It's a little rainy, but we can still worship, amen? Last week, we talked about being marked by God. And last devotional, if you remember, each and every one of us has a marking, a calling from God. And this devotional follows through, and it talks about being approved in private. Approved in private. God wants you to not only recognize that you're marked by him, but he wants you to surrender to him in the process that it takes for your purpose to develop and mature. Oftentimes we recognize the unique plan that God has for our lives, but we want to skip ahead and step into the finished product. What God wants to do in and through your life is something that cannot be on display until it is fully developed in Him. God wants to approve you in private. He wants to approve you in private because there is something that He is working out of you that wouldn't survive in public. Today, our social media feeds are full of the premature declaration shared by people who are marked by God but were unable to practice the patience to be approved in private. God wants to develop us in private so we can effectively demonstrate our purpose in public. Just because everyone doesn't know it doesn't mean you aren't marked. In the story of King David, before he was king, he was a shepherd. In fact, the day that he was marked by God, he wasn't even invited to the party. He was serving in the field. He later was invited to the party and was anointed and marked to be king, but then he was sent back to the field shortly after. We must cancel the idea that elevation takes place immediately. There is a process of preparation in private that God wants us all to walk through before we demonstrate our purpose publicly. You may be in a place where you know God has called you to greater and bigger things than you're experiencing right now, but God wants to remind you that you're still marked. You're still marked, even when no one else sees it. Obscurity produces integrity. Your approval is taking place in private by the one who marked you. Before I end in prayer, it's just let's reflect on this one question. What could God be working out of you in private before he calls you to demonstrate in public? Lord, help us not to seek approval from others, but from you alone. Show us how to be patient and open to the process of you approving us in private. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the glory, the honor, and the praise because it is you who marks us. It's you who approves us, and it's you who leads us through this whole thing. So, Lord, as we look to you, we want to give you thanks, and we love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name.